In this video, I will show you how to add text to your video using shortcut. There are two different ways to add text in shortcut, each with its own style. I will explain all of them so you can decide which method works best for your project. Watch until the end as I will also share plenty of useful tips and tricks. Hey there, I'm Sankhesa and welcome to Vertical Darts. I will be using this video as the background. The first way to add text to your video is by using filters. Click on filters, then click the plus sign and search for text. You will see three main options, text simple, text rich, text simple with gradient background. Let's first try text simple. By default, numbers will appear on the screen. You can replace them with your text here. Click here to change the font. Click here to adjust the text color. I will keep it white for now. Make sure to uncheck the use font size box. If checked, you will need to manually adjust the text size here. When unchecked, resizing and repositioning the text becomes easier. By default, the text has an outline. You can remove it by reducing the thickness to zero. You can also use these presets to adjust the text placement or create motion effects. However, always select the preset first before making other changes, as presets reset all settings to default. To make the text fading gradually, move the playhead to where you want the text to appear. Click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Reduce the opacity to zero. Move a few frames forward and increase the opacity to 100%. This creates a smooth fading effect for the text. Now let's try text reach. Type your text here. You will see a toolbar attached to the text box. You can use it to make changes to the text. Change the font. Adjust the size. You can change the color. Again, similar to the previous filter, you can use preset to animate the text. You can collapse or expand the toolbar by clicking these arrows. Now let's try the text simple with the gradient background. This adds two filters to your video, gradient and text simple. I think it will be very useful for subtitles as it provides a clean gradient background. You can adjust the gradient color and its opacity as needed. Now I will show you another way to add text. This is my preferred method as it gives you more control. 
For that, we will need to add a new video track. Right click, go to track operations and select add video track. Then go to open other and select text. I will choose simple and set the background to transparent. Click open. Drag and drop the text onto the timeline. Then type your text. Let's quickly adjust its font and size. You will now have the same text simple filter but on a separate track giving you more flexibility. Now that the text on a different track, you can add additional filters to it. For example, let's add a glitch effect. Add keyframes at the beginning. Move a few frames forward. Make some changes to the effect. Then move further and reset the effect to plain text. Looks cool, doesn't it? You can experiment with any video effect. Try the size and position effect for a zoom animation. At the end of the clip, increase the zoom and adjust the position. Create a keyframe here. Move the play hair to the beginning and make the text smaller. Adjust its position as needed. To make it more interesting, let's split the clip into small sections. Hit S on the keyboard to split the clip. Change the text for each section to create a dynamic effect. You can even change the text color in between. The effect will look like this. The possibilities are endless. Just let your creativity shine. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe for more easy tutorials. Also, don't forget to check out other shortcut tutorials on my channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.